A local doctor has managed the COVID-19 floor at Jewish Hospital since the pandemic started. She was also one of the first doctors to receive the vaccine in Louisville. Any other given year before this virus, she might have lost four patients. Today, that number is close to 40. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. I'm tired because our numbers just keep going up. And we're seeing this all from the holidays, and we expected that. We expected January to be a tough month. I have a list that I keep in my office. It, it keeps me grounded. It, keep, it reminds me that, you know, these are, well now, 37 families who don't have their loved ones anymore. To have that many deaths in a year, less than a year, um, and it's frightening. It's frightening that this is what it did. People just don't understand. They don't understand what exactly is happening, that all those horror stories that are happening across the country, across the world, they're happening in our hospitals here in Kentucky. I had one gentleman who was not doing well, and I, I told him he's going to the ICU, and he did. He begged me not to send him. I said, I need you to go to the ICU, but I need you to come back to me. And we had a deal, and he did. He came back to me a few days later, it, um, and when I saw him, you know, the two of us just started to cry. But I've also had another patient uh, beg his nurse not to leave him. We were sending him to the ICU and he didn't want to be alone. And she just came out crying and, and we just cried with her. And that's been the hardest part of this job is trying to communicate what the patient is actually feeling to their loved ones so that they understand that, you know, what they're going through sometimes is suffering. Driving home yesterday and I was thinking, how did, how did we come to that, that our loved ones are having to watch their loved ones die over Zoom? I had a Catholic priest come um, he was one of 13 from a local nursing home. I think of that moment where we were standing around Father's room during his last breaths. And the good news is throughout all this, despite my list of 37, is I send more patients home than I keep. I think I'm in it for the long haul until, until this is over, because I want to see this end. I'm afraid that people are tired just like I am, but we can't, we can't let our guard down, not yet.